We're gonna set up the God rays and go from this to this to this. So at the moment, my scene is very basic. I've got a tree from Felicia White's Patreon and I'm using the Scatter 5 add-on for the grass. The world setup is simply a sky texture that I've plugged in. Now let's go ahead and create those God rays. So in the 3D viewport, Shift A, let's add in a cube and I'm gonna make it nice and big and make sure it encompasses the whole tree. From here, I'm gonna come into Object. Let's go New and we wanna create new material. Let's delete the principal BDSF shader, shift A, search. I'm gonna type in scatter and select volume scatter. From here, volume into volume. And you can see that now we've kind of got this white dense of volume density dense. Let's change our density down to 0.05. And you can already see from this angle how we've got those God rays streaming through the tree. Now my sun is directly pointing this way and my camera's over here. So if I press numpad zero to go to camera view, we can see that we've got our God rays. However, if we increase our anatrus there to let's say 0.3, what actually happens is that the volume kind of moves towards the light source. So we're gonna have a bulk of the volume closest towards our brightest light source and so that's why those God rays are really prominent in this one. So we'll give it a quick render. And that is looking... <sighs> However, we could do a little bit of funkiness as well. So if we come over into the render settings and under light paths, we increase the volume bounce to one and the anus to 2.99 and enter. Now, if we go F12, we get this kind of underwater effect. Now, if you use this, tag me over on Instagram, Markham3D. I'm really intrigued to see how you guys use this.